Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the coupling beam. In this lecture we are going to talk about the coupling beam, that what is coupling beam, why we use the coupling beam and when we have to use the coupling beam. So coupling beam play an important role in the design of arcing resistance structure. So coupling beam can be defined as coupling beam is used to combine two shear wall or other elements that are used to resist the lateral load. So this is important. The coupling beams mostly connect the two structural members. It may be either shear wall or column or maybe two shear walls or maybe two columns because shear wall and columns can be designed as an earthquake resistant stru structure member. So coupling beam used to connect or combine those structure members which are used to resist the earthquake load or the lateral load. And you can see here from in this figure in which one shear wall is provided on the left side and the column are provided on the other side. So to increase the stiffness of this system, we provide the coupling beam. So coupling beam means that it is used to increase the stiffness of the building. Or we can say that we want to reduce the overturning effect of a building, so we provide the coupling beam. And coupling beam is mostly provided in a building more than 40 stories or more than 30 stories. It is not provided in a small story buildings, but due to the high rise building, there is more little forces acting on the building. Now let's consider a high rise building. Let's suppose this is in a high rise building with more than 30 stories. And these are different number of stories in this building. And let's suppose this is another column in the center of a building. So is the height of the building increases the more lateral forces increases the lateral force increase on a building and on the top of the building there is a maximum load acting on the building which is the maximum earthquake load or maybe the maximum wind load so this portion of the building which is on the top of the building takes more load of the wind or earthquake load so we have to increase the stiffness or the overturning or to increase the overturning resistance of this building at the top of the building. So what we do in case of the high rise building, we provide the coupling beam. So now I have to draw the coupling beam that, that where we draw the coupling beams or where we have to provide the coupling beam. So let's consider there's another column made with the shear wall. There's the shear wall provided on the left side. There's the shear wall. And this is the column. To increase the stiffness of the structure, we connect this shear wall with the column by a member, a horizontal member we call is the coupling beam. So now this structure has a higher stiffness than before without having coupling beam. So this member is called as the coupling beam. It's a horizontal member, member which is used to connect this shear wall and this column known as the coupling beam. This coupling beam is only provided in the high-rise building just to increase the stiffness and to reduce the overturning effect of a building. It is not necessary that it only connects the shear wall and column. Here it is possible that the, this left side there is no shear wall but the column. So it also connects the column column and it also connects the shear wall with the shear wall. So its purpose is just to connect those structural members which are used to resist the earthquake load or the lateral force. Now to talk about the types of the coupling beam, there are two main types of the coupling beam. One is conventionally reinforced coupling beam and one is diagonally reinforced coupling beam. So now to discuss the types of coupling beam. Now what is the difference between these two types of the coupling beams? One is conventional reinforced coupling beam and the other one is the diagonally reinforced coupling beam. So when the length of this coupling beam, let's consider this is length L of the coupling beam which is the distance between the shear wall and the column in this case. So when the length of this beam is very large enough, we can say it's very large. So we design the beam is like a conventional reinforced beam. Like simply putting the reinforcement here at the bottom of the beam and providing the stirrups all, all along the length of the beam. So the design of the beam is simply like reinforced concrete beam in case of the long length of the beam. 
So this is called as a convulsion reinforced coupling beam. While in case of the diagonally reinforced coupling beam, when the length, this length L is very short. So what we do, we place a diagonal reinforcement in this beam. Now this diagonally reinforced reinforced beam is called as the diagonally reinforced coupling beam because in this case there is more chances of shear failure due to the short length so what we do we provide the reinforcement diagonally along the length of the beam because of the short length of the beam so that's why we provide the diagonally steel bars in case of the short beam which is known as the diagonally reinforced coupling beam so the main difference between the these two types of the coupling beam is in conventional reinforced coupling beam there is no diagonally reinforcement because of the long length of the beam the beam length is long so there is no need to provide the diagonal reinforcement because there is no such shear failure in the case of the long beam while when the length of this beam is short between the shear wall and column so we have to provide the diagonal reinforced beam because to avoid the shear failure there is more chances of shear failure in case of the short beam so that's why we provide the reinforcement in diagonal position and diagonal position so we call this type of the coupling beam is diagonally reinforced coupling beam hope you guys understand the day topic and for more videos please subscribe our channel thank you for watching my video